What is going on today, guys? Good morning. Uh, it is actually Saturday morning. Got a little bit of a different video uh, for you. We're actually gonna go see about an old Peterbilt truck that uh, somebody reached out to me. Of course, we do uh, we do a couple videos buying and selling some some old Peterbilts, and next thing you know, we got people reaching out to us. So uh, our guy Mike, this truck is actually right around the corner. Um, we're gonna go check it out, uh, possibly see if we can make a deal on it, but uh, we're just gonna see if we can get it started first. Things been sitting for quite a while, so we have we have starting fluid, we have batteries. Uh, we have all sorts of stuff and hopefully we can get this thing running first. Uh, it is actually a cat engine. Um, I believe it was an old Werner truck and the specs on the truck, if I'm trying to remember correctly, it's a 98. Uh, actually, it's it's a very similar spec, an older truck, but the same as mine. Stand up top, big sleeper, same wheelbase, uh, 40 rears, 370 gears. It's a 10 speed and it is a 1LW 3406E cat. So if you guys kind of are confused with that, that means it is a electronic uh, engine cat, an early, early family. So it's not the 3406B mechanical, it is the E electronic engine. Um, so we're gonna see if it'll start. Apparently this dude retired and kind of just let this truck sit in a backyard and that's kind of what we're doing Saturday morning. We got uh, we got good buddy Mark's truck uh, loaded up on the trailer because it's coming home to its new owner. We got bicyclers in the middle of the road. Um, so that's where the day is starting. That's kind of what we're up to uh, this uh, fine Saturday. So we're almost there. Stay tuned. Let's see if we can get this thing fired up. This is a, this is in no way, shape, or form. We will not be doing will it start videos uh, like our good buddy Bruce. Uh, he's got that covered out. So if you like seeing things uh, start up that have been sitting for a while, go check out Bruce Wilson's channel. Uh, this kind of just popped up to us uh, on the last day we're kind of home and uh, figured why not, you know? So here we go. Yeah, I don't think my dually even fits up this driveway. How the heck is there a tractor? <laughs> How is there a tractor trailer in the back of this? My dually doesn't even fit up the driveway. Oh my goodness. Well, up here. It's up that road. Oh gosh. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's in the back. It's literally, it's is. literally in the backyard. All right. She was parked here. So it was parked here five-ish years ago? Five-ish years ago. The hood opens, right, you said? You checked it out. Yeah, it should be easy to, to jump out. Oh, it has batteries in it. Oh, oh we took the cable. Uh, what a fuck. Okay. So this should be positive. Who knows if they even have power. Right. The one thing I didn't get. I just got a little spark. Just, there's a spark there. Wow. But I need to jump them, so... I hope you brought cables. Yeah, I got. He's got a few. I got some. Okay. Got enough to, to make it start. Yeah. These batteries don't look that old. Uh, eleven. <laughs> oh, does it say eleven on them? Oh, okay. So maybe. I mean, let me know what you want me to do. Yeah, just stay right there. So. What you can see right here? Oh. oh. God. They're all broken apart. All the airbags are junk. I, I might actually have one. I have my myself when you're walking over there. In that thing? I got it. Yeah. Two feet? <clears throat> These 
work. So I'm just gonna nibble at it for a second. You ready? Well, I know that, but it just... So does that have to stay on it for it to stay yeah, running then? wire to stay on. Oh, okay. The fact that those batteries held a charge for that long <laughs> is like insane. I only saw them sit for like a week and they're dead. They run. I had no doubt it would. It didn't even smoke. I no doubt. When he started it last year, I was like, wow. That's what I did. I hit the primer before. It was like four times and, mm -hmm. you know, I had resistance. So I said, all right, it's got fuel. Yeah. Well, it does run. And it runs. It does run. I was hoping for some cranking and like... Nah. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was too easy. That's pretty that painless. That anticlimactic. Yeah, that was pretty painless. Yeah. Do you want to let it run for a little bit and see if it'll build air and all that stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Why not leave wiring this up so I can... <clears throat> Step out of the truck. Yeah. Let it run for a little bit. Let me go grab that water bottle. This wheelbase for some reason looks a little longer than yours. No, I think mine is 260. Yeah, this looks a little bit because with the extenders off, the extenders, this sleeper wouldn't look bad. The extenders, uh, so mine's 260. This is a 270. Yeah, because it looks like your rear wheels would be sitting right where the quarter fenders were when you had. Yeah. So it's like another, not a, not quite a foot, but it's about a foot longer than mine. Yeah. See, so this is this is this is pretty much the exact same spec as mine. It's got yeah. 22 five, low pro 22 fives on the back. <clears throat> It's, it's a very similar spec. Mine's got the same gears in it. Them together, you should be okay. You should build something. Well, Mark, what's that? That's just the air. That's just a valve splitter, right? Okay. And probably wouldn't be able to just trick the hose, right? It's gotta be something. I mean, I think that's gotta connect to that one, though, probably. I got, I got, uh, I got all this stuff. I got one <laughs> pair of vice grips to try and crimp that thing, and I got, I'm missing the damn end. Oh. So, I don't know. I'm tearing this thing apart. This is like my travel 
nonsense fix something on the side of the road box. Fix something on the side of the road with vice grips without a bolt in the back. Yeah, of I mean, them. I got a file in here. You know, I got a magnet. <laughs> uh, probably a set of drill bits with no drill. I got a screwdriver, though. <laughs> but I don't know. What do you think? I, I, I just want to try and crimp that line and see if we can yeah, get... Well, do you, if you find the bolt, that'd be great. If it goes in the back. I mean, how did you lose it? I don't know. You sure it's not in the bottom here? I mean, it's very possible. It just I'm depends if I want to... It depends on if we want to un unleash the beast and dump this thing completely out. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. there you go. There you go. Here we go. All right, let's see if we can get this Now thing. we're creaming. Let's see if we can get this thing to build some air pressure. I hear another leak. Now you did it. Breaks a cage. Oh, are they? See them? Oh, yeah. Did you get that on video? I did. Yeah, the other one, the other ones aren't. I don't think they're cageable ones. That's what I mean. That's what it looks like. That's not cage. No, I think this is the only. This is the only axle that the Parker brake is on. Oh. Okay. That's not a Parker brake axle. So these are the big 30-30 chambers. So really, technically, if it got yanked, it could get yanked right out of here. Yeah. Right now, the way it is. Yeah. Huh. It won't go in gear. It will go in gear. Oh, it will. Did you try to like shuffle it from its grave? You got little buddy, right? I do. He's okay. I, I just got separation anxiety right now. Okay. You don't want. You want to make sure that that. Uh... I want to make sure you didn't leave him on the frame rail. That's all. Yeah. I've no, gone no. about two years without losing one. Honestly, when we jumped in there, I was like, because the sleeper is open, I'm like, gosh, if there is bees or wasps or anything. That's what I thought of, bees or hornets for you. God, I, I'm not allergic, but might as well be. Yeah, got the key? Got the key. All right, we got to pack this thing up. Here you go. Here's Thank your you. tool. That's, yeah, that's, the, that's, that's the only tool that you need. Let me pack up, let me pack up this uh, shenanigans here. I don't think it's all going to fit anymore. Oh, boy. And we got, look at this, sockets. Oh boy. That's not gonna fit now. All right, let me do this. <laughs> That's great. Kinda, sorta. Listen. Oh yeah. See if you. It's if, gonna if, get sun molded <laughs> now. That's <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, we got it. Oh, yeah. Sun there, you go. there you go. We'll, we'll keep these inside. Those are valuable. Mark, we didn't even need your. We didn't even need your deep cycle battery or the starting fluid. Listen. 
I got one thing to save you, okay? <laughs> uh, this is I was I was waiting for this to come. So we're dropping we're dropping Mark off because obviously we loaded Mark's truck up, so I drove him home. Uh, Mark's opinion of the green Peterbilt in the last video was not very high. Mark didn't even like the green Peterbilt because he thought that that thing was a turd. You thought that that thing was a turd. Listen. And I firmly believe that the green truck, really with some cosmetic body work, I mean, it was a day cab, so it would have been easier to paint. And yes, it needed an engine overhaul, but listen, Mark, the truck that we just went and looked at. I, I, I take back everything I've ever said about the green truck. <gasps> and I, I always admit when I'm wrong, and I was wrong. The green truck. The green truck was uh, really, really nice yeah, compared to I that last take, truck. I would take, you know, the engine rebuild and the, the quick paint and pretty up over. Me and you could have knocked out a paint job on that thing. Yeah. And granted, the engine work would have been, uh, I think, the biggest cost factor, like uh, doing, doing a full engine. I think it seems a little overwhelming because I've never really done one. And... Uh, the cost of big truck overhaul rebuilds is, I mean, who knows, who knew if that head was any good? But right. anyway, we're not really talking about the Green Peterbilt, but the Green Peterbilt, in my opinion, for what we were, what we paid for that Green Peterbilt, yeah. if you were going to keep a truck, yeah, that was the truck. It had the 18-speed 6NZ. This truck has a less desirable everything. And it's not, you know, it's nothing against the truck. It's just, it's age of sitting. It's age of sitting, and you know it's because the truck's the, got potential. I mean, it's it's a re, it's a restoration. Yeah, it's a full restoration because that truck's a '98. Which now I will say this: the one positive about the uh, blue truck that we just went and looked at, it is a '98. So that means no e log, no e log at all. The green one and mine are still O two O threes, which they're five years newer. They have the newer style dash in it. Um, because that truck had the older style square style dash and that truck is a 10 speed, um, you know, nothing real fancy. I think it was, I mean, what would you consider that? Like a over the road, low, yeah. low spec truck. Like it's, it's a low spec truck. Yeah. Um, so I go like a fleet spec, fleet spec. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. So, um, million, million, 1.1 miles on it. Uh, we don't know. I am going to call the owner of that truck and still try and see if we can't work a deal out but I, my I give credit where to it it fired right up it did fire right up it's not a it's not a very good will it start video i no, mean it fired we like... were we were under the impression that uh i mean like we brought starting fluid we yeah. thought we were gonna have to really try to get this thing to breathe back to life and the batteries that were in it so somebody must have tried to start that or had it running uh, previously yeah. to us. I mean, us. I'll give it so, to that. The engine sounds great. The engine does sound good. Like you could, you could actually notably hear that other truck was was yeah. was missing a this little bit. This one didn't even steam out the blow by out the or yeah. nothing. I mean, no was, white smoke. No, I I did check the uh, bubbles out of the overflow, and I didn't see anything. Granted, I didn't really see a whole lot of coolant in it, but either way, I mean, it'll run a long time. It was running a long time, so. Yeah, I mean, we gave it we gave it a fair shakedown. The shame so. sitting in the grass destroyed that truck. Sitting in the grass. If you guys have, if you watch these videos and you have anything yeah. sitting in grass, I, I mean, would, is stone like a nice compacted stone better yeah. or not really? No, I mean it's better, but they say even like gravel and stuff holds moisture. Oh, you know, I don't know what you're supposed to do. I mean, hanging in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> <laughs> but anyway guys i think that uh i don't even know i think i might just wrap up the video here uh so we got mark's truck uh loaded up it's gonna go to marcus wood uh picked lucky number 58 uh but he is going to be getting that in a day or so so you guys will see that we'll probably video all that stuff uh he only lives 20 30 minutes away from my house in kentucky so we're trailering it down there for him um but yeah that's pretty much you can see where it lived the white truck Oh, right here. Yeah. Four pods on the driveway. Four pods on the driveway. No spots. Leak free. 100% perfect. Cold AC. No uh, no issues whatsoever. That truck is a turnkey driver. Um, good solid truck. So well, I've already talked to Marcus. He uh, he's gonna he's gonna keep it, run it, drive it, have fun with it. It'll be on his YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is Woods Way Woods Way Auto, I believe. So he's up. He's fixing another truck on there now. So. 
Anyway, boys, uh, I think that's pretty much it. We are going to go back and put the batteries back in the truck that I stole them out of um, to make sure nobody has an issue Monday morning. And I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. So I'll, let, I'll keep you guys posted if, and the other thing, so the other thing with the blue truck, we didn't really talk about the blue truck. So, um, well we did, but somebody had the brakes already caged on it. Super crusty, super rusty. That thing sitting there, every single fitting on that truck was rusting and crusting so you guys saw you guys kind of saw the general shape of it the interior wasn't in really good shape um, definitely moist on the inside so it's probably got some water well the well i don't the, know the, though, the, the the doors were open yeah the breather doors but anyway guys that is pretty much going to wrap up this video um and i will see you guys in the next one probably when we get back down to kentucky so thanks for watching hit the like button before you leave subscribe if you have not already we'll see you bye